hello everyone my name is Kishan and welcome to this video tutorial this is the third video in the video series that I've created in which we connect to the Oracle database create a table and then insert sub statements so in this video we will be using execute immediate to insert multiple records but before I do that let me show you how we can use bind variables also to insert data into the tables so let me just walk through the code that we have in front of us right now so this is the code from the previous video what we did is we imported the module that we needed that is CX Oracle to connect to the Oracle database then I created a connection which is basically a gateway between your Python script and the database that connection is created like this you use CX Oracle dot connect and then pass in the database string once the connection is created if there are no exceptions raised it will go to this else block and here we just print the connection version and then I have a nested try catch here as well so here I'm trying to create a cursor so once the cursor is created I will just have an variable which has my insert statement and then I use the cursor dot execute to execute that insert statement and if an error has raised it will get printed over here in the it will get it will get caught in the except block and get printed if no I'll just commit the connection and then close the cursor in the connection now let's try and see how we can use bind variables so earlier we had a very static insert statement that was too simple let's get it a bit complicated let's use bind variables so say suppose I want to insert one more CS record into the same table so in this case I'll use some bind variables so instead of giving the values here itself I'll just give some placeholders so as there are four columns to insert I'll just give four placeholders over here and then when I actually use the execute method the first parameter that I pass in is the SQL statement the second parameter that I'll pass in will be a list basically this list will now contain the data that I want to insert into the table so this is the list so let's insert the first name of a CEO let's take Bill Gates example so it will be Bill Gates he worked for Microsoft for a long time Microsoft and his age of 64 as of now so Bill Gates Microsoft 64 so let's see how this all gets executed so I'm just executing this Python script so it would start from importing it then it will create a connection once the connection is successful it will give us the version as an output and then it will execute the statement over here so instead of just placing the variables over here I just use bind variables and at the time of executing for each of these bind variables over here I just gave in a list of the data that I had now you could have easily replaced this taken this created this list somewhere else and then pass the variable over here but I just for the sake of simplicity placed it over here so let's see how this gets executed and then we will use the execute many method and see how multiple records can be in, uh, can be inserted but by using just one statement so here it is trying to run the code here is the SQL server that I have I'm sure it is as of now it has inserted the record so in our code if you can see over here it is saying the it has printed the database version which is this print statement over here and then it said insert completed it printed this statement so no error got executed no error got encountered and over here it inserted bill gates microsoft 64 into the table but say now you want you have multiple records to in insert you won't be just say you have 100 records to insert will you go on and write 100 executes over here no we have a simple way to do that so to do that basically now what I'll do is instead of passing this list over here I'll just create something called list data and I'll have the list here 
but now when you have multiple records to insert you will need tuples of those multiple records over here even in the fetch we will see that whenever you get multiple records from the database it returns you the data in a in a list of tuples so over here let let me insert two more records so two more co details um, i'll just put the first one let's take the example of sundar pichai sundar pichai works for google and he's the age of say 47 and then let's take another example yep mark zuckerberg how can we forget him so mark zuckerberg facebook and the age of just 35 so now i'll use the execute many method over here and take pass in the sql insert statement and also the list that contains the data that i want to insert i just click somewhere else i left click and run the file in python so it will connect to the database using this connection string if everything goes fine it will go to the else block print the version then there is a nested try catch over here it will then create a cursor then it will use this execute many method and in this we have passed two parameters the first one is the insert statement with the bind variables and the second one is the list of tuples which are the, the data that we want to insert into the table and if it will get any error it will print it out here else i'll commit the connection and at the end i'll just close it so if i hop on to my sql server database over here this is basically the table where these things are happening and as you can see here it has inserted two records sundar pichai google 47 and mark zuckerberg facebook 35 so this is how you can insert multiple records by using the cursor to execute many method i hope you enjoyed the video in the next video we will see how we can fetch data that we just inserted into the database thank you for joining this session signing off